today on a John Deere 9 series gungeon we're going to show you one how to tell the difference between the bearing style and the bushing style so full disclosure steel versus cast is not the upgrade it's bushing versus bearing when they made the 30 series tractors they did stop using a steel gungeon and went just to cast so if you still have the older uh, 20 series you do not have to buy the cast gungeon you could buy a less expensive steel gungeon with a bearing style so we're going to start with uh, this is a bushing because it does not have a grease you can't grease the bearing I'll show you in the next one I'll show you you can see the grease elements on it but while I'm here also I'm going to show when we sell the, if your, if your gungeon goes bad, typically it gets into your spindle, but unless your gungeon gets into your rear frame, you don't even have to replace your spindle. The bearing, the bear, going to the bearing solves that. So what we use here to test is typically this little flat piece of steel hangs here. And um, if, the spindle or if, the, if you got a lot of wear it's going to be really tight at the bottom and gapped open at the top it's a little hard to see with my camera here but so basically i've already tested this one and i know it's i know it's good so we just got in a burnt 9r which looks horrible of course but I automatically know that it's a bearing gungeon because it has a grease alum out here, a grease alum out here, and if there was a bunch of debris up there, I could see one more. So these will be on both sides and then you're one in the middle. But the same principle applies, except these were gone. So here, I get a little bit better view of this one actually. And everything is the same gap. So while this is had fire on it and probably the bearings would have to be replaced, the gungeon's still good. In fact, probably what well, we've been selling these as packages because when you do get into here, you've got to have both. So probably this will be one we'll go in and put bearings and seals in, clean it up and paint it, sell it um, you know, as a reconditioned, ready to install because the fire doesn't hurt the steel or it doesn't hurt the cast as heavy as they are. So anyway, that little tool right there is what you need to look at when you call for a gungeon. And we ask you if, you're, if you need your rear frame. And the reason we do that is because when we have these as packages together, then uh, it's easier for you to install. And we don't have to do two shipments because once you get your gungeon off, you find out that you needed the rear frame also. So it's just something to check, it's real easy to do, and you don't have to pull it apart to do it. 